Good morning, class. Today is day one of our writing process for our new paragraph that we will write this week. And let's talk about our topic, okay? So the topic you're going to be writing about is snow days, okay? So I know we all love snow days where you don't have to go to school. It's a little different this year because you're already at home, but a snow day would mean that you don't have any work to do. So what's so great about a snow day is going to be your topic. Today is day one of our writing process, so I'm gonna draw a web. So in the middle, I'm gonna write, what's so great about a snow day? Now, if you don't like snow days, you could change this to what's not so great about a snow day. Maybe you don't particularly care for snow days. You decide um, what you want to write about. So our topic is snow days. So we're going to brainstorm and think about what's so great about a snow day. Why do you like them or why do you not like them? What do you do on a snow day? Um, you can pick your side and just brainstorm everything you think of, okay? When I think of a snow day, I think of it's a day off work. Right? I also think it's exciting because it's a surprise. It's not expected. Right? Not expected. I'm writing kind of sloppy so I can write fast. So it's a day off work for me. It's exciting because it's a surprise. It's not expected. Um, how about getting to sleep in? Okay. Um, wearing PJs all day long, oops, wearing pajamas all day. Um, for us teachers, sometimes we use it to catch up on work or catch up on grading. But some people are already caught up on work and they might use it as relax, relaxing time at home, whether it's chilling on the couch, watching their favorite shows, or getting, oh, that's another thing, it's extra time to get chores done. I don't think any kids are going to be excited about that, but... As adults, appreciate the extra time to catch up on chores, like laundry and dishes and cleaning. Another thing as an adult you might do is baking or cooking. Maybe you normally don't have time Okay, you can also, if you have other members of your family that also have a snow day and get to stay home, this doesn't always happen, then you get bonus family time. Okay, there's so many good things about a snow day. For the kids, you would probably say things like you get to go sledding or you get to make a snowman and play in the snow. You get to hang out with your friends on the neighborhood. So a kid's one is going to be quite different than how a teacher is excited about a snow day. So it's a little, our brainstorm is going to be a little bit different. We might all get excited about sleeping in and wearing pajamas all day. 
and maybe relaxing. But I think, oh, and it being exciting, I think a lot of this might be different for many of us. So I want you to get a piece of paper and I want you to put your topic of a snow day in the middle. And then whether you like snow days or don't like snow days, I want you to brainstorm ideas about what you like or don't like about snow days and then also what you do on a snow day, okay? So go ahead and get your paper and brainstorm your ideas. Don't lose your paper. You're going to need it tomorrow for your outline. Have fun brainstorming.